And that's a really easy way to go from a plane and cut it using the transparency of your image. I've been working on this render where I thought I'd be clever and take a plane, gently subdivide it, put a transparent image on it, simulate it as cloth, and that would give me a lightweight way to have my character here look as if it's blowing in the breeze. But unfortunately, no matter what I do, I cannot get Blender to stop rendering this plane. But I also didn't want to go back and do it the not lazy way, which is to model the outline of my character, um, match it to the texture, do all that stuff. Too much work. I just wanted to cut out all of the non-transparent parts, and I thought, maybe I can do this with geometry nodes. And turns out, you can. Um, so you can go from that plane to this. And this is how you do it. So we're going to start with a blank geometry node. And uh, let me zoom in here. I know I'm on super tiny screen. And first step is to add your image texture. Oops, shift A, S, image, image texture. Um, and here you go, got my image texture. And now the next thing is you're going to want to get your previous UV. And the way to do that is you go to this little circle here, you move it to the vector, and now you'll see you get this new um, box over here. And if you click on that, you can actually select your UV map from before. The next thing is to um, pick a separate, ge separate geometry node. Um, the color from your image will be your selection. Your geometry will be your input geometry. And then your selection is going to be your output. Oh, but wait. Um, there's nothing there. You have to add a subdivide mesh. And then you can start to see that your selection works. I find that um, selecting face worked really well, and then selecting cubic gave me a little bit more detail. Um, one thing I noticed is that when I did higher subdivides, it would actually bring in the, I guess, uh, quads from before, and you'd see these creases in the in the subdivided mesh. And the solution for this was just bring that subdivision down, and then pre-subdivide it, and then you actually get a nice flowing mesh. And that's a really easy way to go from a plane and cut it using the transparency of your image. All right, that's all. I hope that inspires someone to do something neat or just be lazy like me.